Hi team, it's Greg Fleming here. Just thought I'd do a quick video podcast to give you a bit of an update on the overall Scotland position after the recent storms. I'll just take you back to the, the weather bomb as it was called then on the 10th of December, which actually did a lot of damage right up the west coast of Scotland. Significant damage because of the amount of lightning strikes that we obviously took over a 24 hour period. And as such, uh, southwest Scotland, parts of west central Scotland, parts of central Scotland, right all the way up the west coast and, and mainly highlands and islands were badly affected. Uh, and again, repair work stacks were sort of unprecedented uh, and extremely high in the run up to Christmas and New Year. Um, we didn't really get a chance to recover from that. Thankfully, there was a plan in place uh, with external loans coming from across UK North and UK South to support the recovery. Uh, and those people started to uh, arrive really on the 5th of January uh, and we've sent them up to places as far as Orkney, the Western Isles uh, and right down the west coast also into the southwestern Ra uh, and across to Dunoon with areas were worst affected by the lightning. Unfortunately, as you'll all be aware, there was a two further uh, storms on Thursday the 8th and 9th of January there uh, which were significantly bad in terms of high high winds and a lot of rain and that continued into Saturday as well so the net impact of that has been pretty significant again for Scotland overall as of this morning uh, every single psalm patch across Scotland has had a, a big impact on the work stacks Scotland's currently sitting with a work stack just under 6,500 and at the start of play on Monday the 12th of January that could look like a 7,000 repair work stack uh, and to consider that that's roughly 45 times higher than it normally would be so we're really under the cosh there's a lot of customers out of service, some of them have been out of service since before Christmas and um, we're getting a lot of pressure and a lot of attention on how quickly we can recover this for our customers as well and put people back into service. As you all know we're obviously in this period where we're being measured by Ofcom. We've got about three months left before the end of the financial year so it's absolutely crucial that we put as many customers back into service and as quickly as we possibly can. We're getting a lot of support. Fraser Robery has been working extremely hard uh, with his counterparts across the UK. Uh, we've got now 160 plus loans that will be working in Scotland from across the UK come Monday the 12th, so from tomorrow. Uh, and we're absolutely looking to try and grow our own support from within Scotland. We've had significant support over the Christmas and New Year holidays. A lot of engineers stepping up working the bank holidays, New Year's Day, the 1st and second and obviously the Boxing Day period as well uh, but now more than ever we need everybody's support over the next four or five weeks to step up and do some additional overtime whether that's weekday overtime whether that's weekend Saturday or Sunday or whether trying to maybe start early and work on late I know we're still in the winter period and it's dark we have got a number of engineers working on attendance patterns for that but we need everybody to consider what they can do over the next few weeks to support the recovery in the southeast at this moment in time, we've got a work stack at 616, uh, which is about double our normal, uh, and again, I expect that to rise come Monday morning. So, so we have really been affected by the two storms Thursday and Friday. We were fortunate we didn't get hit by the weather bomb, but now we've taken it uh, from the two storms Thursday and Friday night, and the weather looks set to continue into Monday. So, real challenges, uh, but I know as a team we can all step up. Managers are working hard. Uh, to, to bring as many people out as they can. I'll have that discussion with them tomorrow morning. I'm going to put this video across the patch, just asking for your help and your support. You recognise the challenge that it's set for Openreach, what it's certainly set for Scotland overall and for Fraser and the team right across. Uh, and it's now more than ever, as I've said, that we want you to step up and give us your help. So thanks for listening. Uh, if there's anything you can do, just put yourself forward through the normal channels, through overtime, if you speak to your manager about what else you can do, if it's half days or full days, and we'll start to coordinate that from tomorrow through field dynamics and workflow and allocation. If you have any questions, pick up the phone, ask me directly, or ask your manager, uh, and I'll be in touch soon. Thanks very much for your support.